Hey, Shalom, Israel. Uh, uh, first off, I would just like to say, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And would like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the brothers that's laboring in this faith in all sincerity and truth. Uh, just all randomly through the spirit, I got the brother uh, here, Sha'ar, with me. We in transit mode. Shalom. Shalom, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had a quick precept through, all through the spirit that I wanted to read. And then all through the spirit, we're just going to break it down and just uh, speak on these things, man. Uh, this is in Acts, the 18th chapter. And I'm going to go down to the ninth verse. And then the brother can add any precepts and I'll just pull them up. Uh, this is Acts 19. All right, so like Acts 18 and 9, it says... Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. So if I could just speak on this, uh, the Lord told Paul in a vision not to be afraid to speak or hold his peace it was because he was with him. And that's the spirit that brothers that have this truth should be in, man. Like it also says in Isaiah, I believe, uh, 62 and 7. I've set watchmen upon thy wiles, which shall never hold thy peace day or night. You know what I'm saying? And we're not going to uh, refrain from speaking until the Lord establishes Jerusalem as a nation. Because for one, we see the prophecies coming to pass, man. We see the things that were written in the, in the Lord, in the word of the Lord. We see these things happening before they play out. So we have a job as watchmen to basically set that candle, you know, where everyone can see that light, man. To give that warning. To the other elect men to take heed and repent before the judgment takes place. Did you want to add anything? No, no, you got it right now. Yeah, and another thing I wanted to add to me and the brother Shahar is the spirit. I was with the same brother last night. We was watching uh, this interview uh, with Joe Rogan and this guy uh, Nikola Tesla, and they was just basically just discussing all of this uh, different technology and Neuralink, which all through the spirit we know that ultimately to be the framework. Uh, for the uh, for the mark of the beast, which we know is the RFID microchip, man, which these elites, man, they would try to uh, disguise it and basically try to put that on the back burner. But the men of the Lord, we know what that is. And, you know, it's a lot of uh, different alternative media, you know, putting this uh, news out there. And pretty much if you watch that interview, man, this guy, uh, Elon Musk, he was basically saying uh, artificial intelligence or Neuralink. Or uh, Skylink, like uh, in that movie Terminator. That's, right. that's basically what's going to take over uh, the framework uh, as what we know right now to, to, to buy and sell and do everything, man. Mm -hmm. But these elites, they've, they've tried to hide these agendas for so long. But all through the spirit, the men of the Lord, we're putting it on display. And I'm going to get another scripture real quick in, in Psalms real quick. Come, come. I'm going to get Psalm 64 real quick. And also quick. Ezekiel 28. But sure, I'll Lord. get that next. Yeah, I'll get Ezekiel 28 next. I'm going to get this real quick. Hold on. This is in Psalms, the 64th chapter. And uh, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to get right to the point. This is Psalms uh, 64 and 5. It says, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? And that's what's going on right now with these elites, man. Because right now, they want to establish what's called a new world order. To where they can uh, set this uh, market to be system up. So they can uh, have complete control over everyone. They can know exactly uh, how much money everyone uh, has. They can uh, basically know everyone's criminal history. They can know everything about everyone. Their medical history. Everything, man. Through that, that, through that technology, through the RFID microchip. So ultimately, they're trying to lay snares privately, man. And they say, who shall see them? But all through the spirit of the Lord, the watchmen, we see, man. And that great awakening is, is happening, man. The watchmen, we're basically not holding our peace to speak on these things. Did you want to add any points? Uh, Pretty much, you know, you, you're pretty much tackling all these points. Everything that I want to say, you're pretty much going into it, man. But, hey, as it's written, man, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the, than the sun. And we understand those eyes to be the angels, but at the same time, the Lord sees things through us, too. Mm -hmm. That's why we're able to call these things out through the Spirit and see it. You know what I'm saying? And as we go into Ezekiel 28, it's going to it's gonna go into it as well, man. None of the stuff these devils do are going to be hid, man. All right? He created the Internet, and through his own... We talked about this yesterday during the live show as well. Through his own device that he created, man, he's exposing his own self, man. 
And we saying that for what it is and calling this devil out for who he is, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And that also shows who that we're at the very end, man, because Esau's technology is really starting to get crazy, man. It's starting to get to the point where, you know, remember the movies that we seen when we were younger? How they had, uh, well, of course, we don't see flying cars and stuff like that, man, but pretty much how they went into um, 1984, Big Brother's watching, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's it called? Eagle Eye. Mm -hmm. You know, his, 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 um, his devices are being put out there now, man. And we're uh -huh. seeing a lot of the stuff that we seen in the movies back when we were younger come to light, man. And it just ultimately shows his true agenda and what he plans on doing out here. Yep. Okay? Yep. You got Cause, it out. Because cause, uh, Esau's main weapon uh, to, to, to establish dominance and control and maintain dominance and control over the, old, over the whole earth has been uh, deception, man, and secrecy. Right. That's why they operate in secrecy. That's why this guy... This insider, uh, Nick Rockefeller, he said he wished the internet uh, would have never been invented, man. Right, right. Because that tool that they created, man, is basically exposing them. But I'm going to keep reading here. I'm going to go back to Psalm 64 God. and uh, 6. It says, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Right, right. If I may, a diligent search, man. You know, when you, when you, go, into, when you go into being diligent of the word diligence... That word means investigate, mm -hmm. investigation, man. So they really sit back privy and, re and really watch. Like a lot of times that when they push these agendas, they're plotting on it for about 50 to 100 years before they actually bring it to light, man. That's what this devil does. That's why in Micah, the second chapter, it says, thy mm -hmm. work with iniquity upon thy beds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a diligent search right there, man. He doesn't even sleep with the, thinking about how he can fuck the world up, man. Yep. You got it. That's right. It says, I'm going to keep reading. It says, uh -huh. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. It says, but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. And that's what's going to happen ultimately, man. Like it says in Job 20 around the 22nd verse in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. So right when they think they're about to reach the precipice of fulfilling the new world order enterprise, man, the Lord going to spun do that shit, man. Right. They're not going to get the accomplished their agenda in its fullness, man. And mainly uh, the men of the Lord. That's why they're going to have to come up against us because we're exposing them, man. People are going to resist uh, taking the RFID microchip. Now, we know the masses of these people in general, man, they're going to, they gonna, uh, without a doubt, man, they're going to be uh, racing to take that RFID microchip because, you know, Esau, he's going to come with incentive programs telling them, hey, man, if you take this RFID microchip, we'll uh, relieve your student debt. We'll uh, put ten thousand dollars in your in, on your on your account right away. So people they're gonna be lining up in droves to take that chip. Right, but it's right. gonna be certain people, mainly the, the elect men of the Lord, and then other people too, man, yeah. that are gonna resist it, man. Right, right, right. Well, they did that on the movie Purge, the mm -hmm. new Purge movie that came out. You know, they pretty much it, it was an experiment that they had done, and they did it in the, in the poor neighborhoods where so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans dwelt. But they pretty much gave them saying, look, if you take this chip, put this in your eye, participate in the purge, you're going to get a $5,000. You're going to receive $5,000 if you survive through it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to try to juice it up and make it really sound good on why you need it, man. Because especially when, especially when you know the dollar's going to crash, man. You know, we use the example of what happened in India in 2016 when there was a shift in currency. There was a lot of people that lost businesses, a lot of people that couldn't pay their, uh, couldn't pay their employees. There was a lot of things that had taken place. We just know that it's coming to America very soon, man. So these people are going to be forced, to, in their own minds, they're going to be forced to want to take this chip, man. And like the brother, like, like, like this brother that went into, man, they're going to juice it up and make it sound real good and probably give you a reward for doing it, man. You got it out. That's right. And it's for time's sake, because we we running some errands right now, I'm going to get what the brother called in Ezekiel 28. What uh, verse you wanted to start? Let me start from the top. Okay. This is on you know, Ezekiel uh, chapter 28, verse 1. It says, the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord power. Now, who's the, who's the prince of Tyrus this is going into? When you go into, the, the, when you go into Tyrus, that was, a, that was pretty much a Phoenician, it was a, pretty much a Phoenician rulership, all mm -hmm. right? Really, it goes to Canaan, but we yep. understand the land that we're dwelling in right now was the next lowland. All right. The king of Tyrus is talking about Esau right here in this particular verse. Mm -hmm. All right. This devil, the so-called white man who has a spiritual demon, Satan, telling him what to do and controlling him because he is of his seed. Mm -hmm. And earlier, I'm, well, later on in this chapter, it, it, it talks about it. All right. But um, go ahead. I it says, thus said the Lord power, because thine heart is lifted up and now has said, I am God. Right. And who does that? OK. The brother just read Psalm 64. 
You can read it in Isaiah 47. Yep, yep. You can read it in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. There's an abundance, even Isaiah 14. There's an abundance of different verses that, that clearly tell you that this devil, this so-called white man, really believes that he is God, man. Okay, so when you read this in here in Ezekiel 28, it's clearly another example of him showing himself within his pride, man. Believing that he is a God. All right, go ahead, Ock. It says, I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God. All right, in Isaiah 14, it says, Is this the man that maketh the earth tremble? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Okay, because he believes that he's the light. Okay, which we ultimately understand the light is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. But he believes that he is. You know, he says, well, forget what the Most High said is good. This is what I think is good. And he's willing to change everything. That's what we're going into the chip. Okay, he, he, he really believes he's in the seat of the Most High. And once he's able to put his brand or his label on you, then pretty much his own will will be fulfilled, man, in his own mind. All right, go ahead. It says, yet thou art a man and not God, thou that, thou, th thou that set thine heart as the heart of God. Mm -hmm. The mindset, go ahead. It says, verse 3, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And this is the, this is the key why I wanted this verse here, because now we understand that he believes he is the most high. And we, we know this is talking about Esau, because what are we going into? We're going into the RFID microchip right now. The agenda, the brother pulled out the interview Joe Rogan had with Elon Musk and how he pretty much said that we can make everybody uh, pretty much an Android a or a cyborg. Robot, a yep. cyborg. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's through a chip that you can put in your brain pretty much. It'll it'll pretty much, um, what's the word? Um, what, what, what's, it pretty much, it'll bind you mm -hmm. within machinery, man. Yep, symbiotic. Symb yeah, that's right. The yep. water is symbiotic, pretty much joining two, joining something together with the host. Right. With us being the host, using that, um, using Esau's technology to do that, man. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He said it'll heighten your physical and your mental abilities to be able to do that, man. All right? Only somebody that's wiser than Daniel will be able to do that, bro. Yeah, because they said pretty much uh, the frequency is a lot slower uh, uh, when people just have, like, the phone and stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you actually combine it, you know, right. with the actual uh, organism, like a person, man, it's going to speed up that process, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. And make it work more better. That's right. It says, Be Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. There is no secret that they can hide from thee, man. So whatever they plan on doing, their agenda is like we was going into earlier. Everything that's done in the dark is being brought to light. All right? And the Lord had put his spirit on us to be able to see these things, man. Mm -hmm. Thus the brother had brought out Psalm 64. Okay? None of, the, none of this stuff is, even though they believe it's done in darkness, we ultimately have the light and we can see these things, man. We know he's wiser than Daniel. He's been given the fatness of the earth. He's been given the rulership of the earth. This charge has been given to him and he stunk up the field completely, man. And we're seeing this devil for who he truly is, man. You so-called you so -called white people, man. That's you right. You Edomites. That's right. That's just the truth of the matter. You got it out. And yeah, that's the truth of the matter. Uh, I'm going to read verse four and then we'll close out for time's sake. Because like I said, we're trying to run an errand, brothers. This is... Uh, Ezekiel 28 and 4, it says, With thy wisdom and with thine understanding that has gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. So through this technology, through their wickedness, through their wisdom, you know what I'm saying? They've been able to excel above all these other nations, man. But all through the spirit of the Lord, the men of the Lord, we're revealing these things in the last days and warning our people, the elective of the nation of Israel, not to take this uh, new system, man, not to take the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, man, because you're going to fall into the judgment of the most high ultimately, man. So we may end up, you know, doing a part two to segue, you know, uh, to follow up on this lesson. But for now. You know, hopefully this was edifying to the body. So with it all being said, we would like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.